Despite legislation allowing the police to inhibit their assembly, gang tension exploded at Mariwa, a small Maori town in Northland in 1979. Outnumbered police were forced into fireballed vehicles by gang members. New Zealand bristled with moral outrage. The press, of course, were quick to fan the flames of heavy debate. The mention of gang affiliation when appearing in front of the court ensured doing a good long stretch. If you um, allow people to slip further and further into an alienated state, you really set yourself up for some expense. And you've only got to go and talk to the civic authorities in, in Brixton or Toxteth, where the disorganisation of society has occurred. It's bloody expensive. Hey, airport! Ironically, it was the arch-conservative Prime Minister Robert Muldoon who saw the high social and economic costs of imprisoning more and more gang members. Muldoon took it upon himself to address the problem. He met and drank with Black Power in Wellington and sussed out the issues. In 1991, Muldoon saw employment and leadership as the answer. However, it was the gangs themselves who realised family involvement, Maori Tonga and rugby league, all sports, was equally important. Black Power's eventual decision was to stay well clear of the 150th celebration of the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi. 